Chimmel. Okay, great. Now what do you want to do? Um, done. Excellent. Okay, so now go to that little bubble right there. Yep. And I want you to go to manage people. Good. And I want you to go to add a person. And call it school. Add. Add. Oh, okay. And it just picked a person for you. Now I want you to go to Gmail. And see how it's pretending that you're not signed in anywhere? Yeah, see what, what this scroll. is what it's At ncpsk12.org. Good. Great. So now, if you click on this little bubble here, and you go to manage people, you see you have two people. So let's, we want to change that so we have a picture, picture and an explanation. So go back to the three little dots here, and you can go to settings, and we can go to Chrome um, name and picture, yep. And you can change, oops, that's your school one. We want to go to the other person. So we want to manage people, choose person one, go to the three dots, go to settings, go to, oh, you're really fast at this. Excellent. Okay. And change that where it says person one to IRL. So you have your real life, like in real life. And then there we go. And then you're all set. And so now go back to manage people. Oops. Manage people. There you go. And you can see that you have two accounts now. You have your IRA in real life and you have your school. So if you, let's say, I keep the two Twitter accounts, right? Mm -hmm. I have a school one and I have a, an IRL one. So I stay logged into Twitter in both profiles. But I oh, get to toggle, switch, switch off. So I mm. never have to sign in and out of anything. Mm. And it's awesome. It saves so much time. So much and time. a lot of aggravation. Mm -hmm. And now with Schoology, you have to be signed into k12.org. And it won't sign you in if you're signed into something else mm -hmm. in that browser. So this saves a ton of aggravation with Schoology. Makes Thanks sense. very much for your help, Justin. There are a couple of other things. Once you set up uh, more than one user profile in Chrome, you can. Uh, you don't have to go to manage people. You can just click on your little person, and you can choose from one of the existing accounts. Uh, clearly, I have lots of user profiles um, in Chrome, so that's one thing. The other thing I would like to point out is that can be very helpful to go to settings and choose to sync those profiles. So sync in Google services and you can check on that and you want to make sure that it's syncing because then whenever you go to, even if you go to a different computer, let's say a school computer, you will still have your history, your experiences, your sign-ins, all of those things will move from computer to computer to computer. So that's also super helpful. Um, so if it says sync here, then you can turn that on. Clearly I have it syncing, so I would turn it off. Um, but that's one more thing you want to consider when using multiple profiles. So if, I'm on a Mac, and one of the things you can do in, on a Mac is you can create under screensaver, you can go to hot corners. And so I've made my application windows in the top right hand corner. You can put it wherever you want, and my desktop is down here. So the upside of that is that once you get in the habit of toggling between your profiles, one thing you can do is by setting application windows, I can just roll my cursor over the top left hand corner because that's where I've set up my application windows and I can toggle between my accounts. So here I'm at school, here I'm in real life, here I'm where I teach college. So the capacity to be able to make that quick move by just touching on the upper right hand corner is super helpful. I did want to show you that you'll notice that these three profiles all look different. So I can quickly spot which one is which just from the color scheme. So you can change your theme by going into settings and choosing a theme. Uh, so right now I have Morphe and Dark, but if I wanted to go out to this is what it looks like, but if I want to just choose a different theme, you can scroll through, view all, you can choose, you can even search. Um, there's a search function here. So, and they're also categorized and they're also ratings. 
Um, so you have a lot of options in terms of choosing a different theme. The one thing I would suggest is that you choose different like themes that look different so that you can spot them on cue. Um, I also want to give Justin a huge shout out for helping us out today. He didn't have to do that. That was his free. Um, and we really appreciate the time he took. Um, clearly, this is something I couldn't demonstrate because I already had set this up. Um, so thanks, Justin.